Hello everyone and welcome back to Beginner's Guide for MechWarrior Online. It is your host, Gitka. Happy to be your host. Uh, so in this video, we are going to talk about mechs that you should consider buying for your mech lab um, now that you have at least 25 million Siebels. Uh, but before I go directly into that, I need to make things clear um, in terms of lore that will help you with purchasing a mech and with building a mech later on down the road. So there are two sides in the MechWarrior Online Universe, or, well, MechWarrior Battletech Universe. There is Intersphere, and then there's Clan. The rundown of this entire universe is basically Game of Thrones on steroids and more plot and intrigue. We got the Inner Sphere, which is the center that is trying to... Here, well, I can actually show you the universe that they're in. Wait for it. Right, so here we go. We got the Inner Sphere which is out here. And then we got the clan, which is out on the rim worlds over here. Long story short, the clans used to be part of the inner sphere, but a long time ago, the clans got pissed off, said, we're going to go elsewhere, leave you guys alone. And the Enosphere uh, became Game of Thrones intensified, if you could believe such a thing. And there has been a lot of civil wars, wars against other houses, which are these, the five great houses. Uh, we, we're not going to talk about that just yet. And it's worth a read if you like lore. But enough rambling. Uh, time passes by, and the Inner Sphere still fighting each other. Clan comes in, makes this dent in the Inner Sphere, and um, says, "Hey, how's it going? We're we're here to tell you guys to stop and to." take over everything and uh, it, it gets the industry to stop shooting each other now all of why do you need all this information you really don't it's just to ease into the fact that there are two sides in mechware online and that is inner sphere and clan inner sphere has let's say tankier more harder to kill mechs whereas clan has more firepower uh, lighter weapons faster and just they're an upgrade to inner sphere in almost every way except for armor and a easy way to tell this work with me here Thank you. An easy way to tell this is by going into the store and you can see this yellow bar underneath this roughneck. That classifies that as inner sphere. Whereas over here, the sun spider, it has a blue bar underneath it that classifies it as a clan mech. Now, there are two different types of mechs. There are battle mechs and there are Omni mechs. Inner Sphere only has battle mechs. Clan has both battle mechs and Omni mechs. An easy way to tell the difference between the two is do I have a good. Oh, yes, I do. So, an example of Omni mech is the Sun Spider, where you can't change out the engine. It is stuck there. There's nothing you can do about it. You can't change 
ferro or endo or double heat sinks or missile guidance. It's just the way it's going to be. What you can change and what is a huge draw to the mech is the omnipods. Normally, you can't change the hard points on a mech, but with omnimechs, you can. You're sacrificing the, um, more or less the customization of how fast you're going to go for how or what weapons you're going to have on a mech at any given time. So on the Sun Spider, we have these weapons, but let's say on the arms, I wanted this ballistic here, and on this arm, I wanted this ballistic here, and then voila, we can put another, we can put other ballistic weapons here so long as we have the tonnage. But that's getting a little too advanced. Just letting you know that Omnimex have are limited options, but still have a lot of options. Whereas battle mechs scrolling down battle mix, you can change whatever the hell you want on a battle mech. You don't like the engine? Take it out. You don't like all of this? Strip it. Only problem is, is like unlike the Omnimex, you can't change the hard points. What you got in each torso is what you get. So, a little balance here and there. Right. I think I spent a significant time on that. Probably more than I wanted to, but no. Now back to the reason why you're here. There's there's mechs to buy. You want your own. You don't want trials all the time. Who wants that? Well, let's start with lights. We got two lights here. We're going to start with the Wolfhound. It's an Intersphere mech. Let's go with the Wolfhound 2. It's tanky. And fast and it has only energy hard points but that will help you because energy doesn't take up and that no, no, no I'm not gonna get into that the wolfhound is versatile has mainly energy weapons which is good that means you get a fire forever and not worry about ammo and the wolfhound is just tanky. It'll help you survive, especially when you're new. And it has the firepower to get you more interested in the game. And that's about it. Whereas Arctic Cheetahs, a clan Omnimech, has the ability to harass the opponent. Lights lights mainly harass. And a common build that I will be posting below, by the way, all the mechs that I'm suggesting, I will have codes for them. Uh, and the mech and the mech and chassis, the mech and variant uh, attached to that code so you know what to look for. But with cheetahs, what we mainly see is some form of three ballistics in each arm. And energy in that torso. And energy in this torso. And go behind or in front of enemy mechs tear them open with lasers, chew them, chew out their components with machine guns, and laugh the entire time. These Arctic Cheetahs are rather, rather annoying and deadly. 
Now, generally, people don't recommend you go into lights or assaults at the start, but if you liked playing a lights or assaults during those 25 games, I'm, I can't stop you. I'm just going to give you information. Now, uh, moving on to mediums. Oh, uh, by the way, Arctic Cheetahs, uh, they also have these things called jump jets. You press spacebar, you jump up, and you fly. Not the best word. Jump is probably the best word. Jump. And there's tactics involved with that. All you need to know is that you can go up higher than other people and onto different elevations uh, and terrain. Which can help when you start recognizing map features and stuff. Now onto mediums. Say you didn't like lights because they lacked firepower, but you like their speed. The assassin. It's it's really fast. It's it can hand it can have the firepower you want and it can just sip around and survive because of its profile. Uh, I'm going to put up the code for the Assassin 21. It's... It hurts. If you like speed and firepower, the Assassin's for you. Now, let's say you didn't like the speed. You want to slow down. You want to... You want to be tanky. You want to hurt people. But you don't like going fast. Well, look. let's look at the Bushwhacker. A lot of the bushwhackers are solid. They're, you really can't go wrong with a bushwhacker purchase. Um, but you can do interesting builds. Uh, they are the bushwhackers are rather versatile in how you build the mechs. So getting a bushwhacker is really a solid choice. There's you really can't go wrong. Um, Hunchback Two Cs, the Battle Mech of Clans. You can go. There's, I mean, most of these are just solid choices to begin with. There's, you really can't go wrong. Yeah. Yeah, you really can't go wrong with these. Um, any of them is fine. All it does is um. You can do lasers, you can do missiles, you can do, you can hurt people with ballistics, you can hurt more people with ballistics, it's, it's just a good mech, just don't stay above too long, otherwise the return fire you're going to get is going to hurt you and you're not going to like it. Huntsman's. Huntsmans are an Omni Mech of Clan. They are. They're good. You, you can do quite some interesting builds on them. And uh, we'll we'll talk about Huntsmans when we get to talking about weapons and stuff. Just know that Huntsmans can do some interesting things, and well. They're just extremely versatile. Now moving on to heavies, we got we got a lot of options for heavies, as you can see, as I'm just scrolling through casually. We got we have quite a few options, starting with the Hellbringer, the Clan Omnimech. This thing loves to use lasers. It's rare that you're going to see a Hellbringer that isn't using lasers or isn't just full-on lasers. This, uh, it just puts out a bunch of damage and punishment into the enemy. And depending on how you want it, you can make it so that enemies can't target you and find your weak points, which is a huge plus. It's at the sacrifice of heat efficiency... But that's going to build theory, and that's a different video. We're going to move on. 
Next up is the Jaeger mech. For those of you that like first-person shooters and are snipers, two mechs you're going to want. Jaeger mechs and riflemen. That is, if you like ballistics. I mean, you can do ranged with Hellbringers, Huntsmen's, Again, options, but if you like ballistics, you're going to want Jaeger mechs and riflemen's. That's pretty much all I'm going to say. They're just, they're just solid uh, boats, not boats, but platforms for long range. Now, let's say you don't. You like the tankiness of the bushwhacker. But you want to go fast. And you want to dish out damage at the same time. The linebacker is your friend. The linebacker can go out onto the field, charge at the enemy, strike their front lines, run away almost unscathed. And just keep doing it over and over and over again. It is it just punishes and punishes punishes the opponent. And all the while you have the armor to help that playstyle. Now let's just say you don't like being in the back, being a rifleman or a Jaeger. You want to get into the action. The Orions. Orions are fantastic mechs to just get in there, be tanky, and hurt the enemy. Another fantastic mech for that for that is the Roughneck. The Roughnecks are solid. They're really tanky. They can just get into the fight, last a long time, and still dish out damage. And last but not least, we have the Sun Spiders. The Sun Spiders are very versatile. You can't do much energy with them unless you have the hero because of Omnimex, or because you yeah, have Omnimex and um, hard points. But again, build theory later time. All you need to know is that Sun Spiders are great with missiles and ballistics and can do quite many different variations of it. I actually have done some videos on the Sun Spiders. If you don't mind watching those, go right ahead. Next up, and last but not least, are the assaults. These are the big mother truckers. They will go out there and do damage. As you may have already witnessed, or, well, been on the brunt end. <laughs> These guys are going to be your targets reason why people don't recommend being assaults as your first mech choice is because they're huge targets and you're trying to learn. You don't want to be a target necessarily. But hey, if you want to try dealing out damage, do, do assaults. More specifically, Mad Cat 2s. Solid mech. Absolutely solid. 100% recommend if you like boating a bunch of weapons or having a few high power weapons and just tearing into the enemy. Marauder 2Cs are a good choice for clans assaults. I say clan assaults because Inner Sphere also has good choices as well. Not for first time assault pilots. Um, I would say that the Inner Sphere assaults have a lot more variety. I just don't recommend those assaults because of how much of a target they are on the battlefield. So Marauder 2Cs, they have the energy platform that you might desire. They have ballistics that you might desire. Um, it, a few missiles 
ballistics and energy and a mix of each. The Marauder 2C is rather versatile um, in terms of each variant. The builds on the mechs themselves are not versatile. Uh, so be careful if you're choosing Marauder 2C. Um, if you don't like it, it's it sucks. You really can't do much. Next up is the Maulers. These Maulers like to be ranged mechs. Like to not sit in the back, but sit in the second line, dishing out damage to the enemy's front line or their back line. And they can easily do so. Uh, just be wary that if you put missiles outside of short range missiles in the mech, you're going to have these little ears and enemies are going to shoot those and it's going to be extremely difficult to defend yourself. So if you're going to use the Mauler, stick with ballistics. Don't use missiles just yet. And last but not least is the Stalker, a, another Inner Sphere Assault, and it's phallically shaped. Not gonna lie. But it is a good mech. Uh, if you're gonna take it on the battlefield, it can do ranged, it can do short range, it can do medium range. It's just a good mech to have in your mech bay or yes in your in your mech lab uh, so there you have uh, I've given you I have given you a list of mechs to choose from I will put different variants and their build codes down below another thing I need to tell you is one how to put a build code into a mech and two, how to, or number two, which I'm going to say before number one, when you buy a mech, do not, I repeat, do not sell that mech for any reason whatsoever. You are going to want to keep it because later on down the road, you're probably going to look at that mech that you first bought and be like, huh, I'm more experienced with the game now. Let's revisit it. And then you're probably going to like it. It's, you can never make a bad purchase in MechWarrior Online. You just need to get used to the game in order to realize how, how and when a mech that you bought is going to be useful. And so for build codes, let's go into the mech lab. What you do or what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the export button and I'm going to paste it in the description below. And what you're going to do is you're going to highlight the code. Yes, that is code. It is going to work. It is looks very freaking strange. Uh, trust me. Uh, what you're going to do, there's the export. You're going to click import when you get to the mech and the chassis. You're going to copy and paste. You're gonna you're first gonna copy the code and then you're gonna paste in the import build. That string of code is gonna pop up. And well, to give you a better effect, let's strip the mech. Right now we got nothing on this mech. Except for the armor. What we're gonna do is we're gonna import. We're gonna do control V press import bam you're gonna have a build there ready to go ready to use just click save which isn't here because we're in the store and uh, it's gonna cost you some seabills I'm not gonna lie this is your first mech it's there's gonna be engines there's gonna be weapon systems on there that you're not really sure of if you want to be cautious, you can enter the testing grounds before hitting save. You can enter the testing grounds on the bottom right where the mech stats are over here. You can enter the testing grounds 
and test out the mech there, seeing if you like the build or not. And that's going to help you in with mech building later on and saving you C-bills so that you know you're comfortable with the mech and you take it to the testing grounds and you come back out and you're just like, I love this build, save it, quick play, let's go. That is it for what I have to talk about. Hope to see you guys on the battlefield. Hope you guys have fun out there. Kill mechs. Don't get killed. If you do, oh well, go on to the next one. As always, I am Gitka, and I will see you next time.